hi everyone welcome to my channel this is blessing Aguina tv god bless you is a channel where we listen to god's word we pray hallelujah is a powerful channel that's uh, all of the bible one of the playlists bible audio playlist is a great channel where we prophesy hallelujah so do not fail to subscribe to this channel god bless you yeah today we're going to be looking at the book of lamentations 3 22 to 23 it says the steadfast love of the lord never ceases his mercies never come to an end they are new every morning great is your faithfulness hallelujah praise the lord yes that's true god's steadfast love never ceases god's mercy never come to an end god's faithfulness is great he is great all you have to do is to believe in him and serve him Hallelujah! All you have to do is to recognize and acknowledge him in your life and accept him as your lord and savior because his steadfast love never come to an end god's steadfast love never finishes it's not a man that we, we say oh, i used to love i don't love you anymore his steadfast love it never ceases his mercies never come to an end it's very merciful always forgiving and forgiving and forgiving no matter what you do when you say that you are sorry he forgives you his mercies never come to an end they are new every morning every day you wake up you see new mercies of god every new day you see new mercies of god the faithfulness is great hallelujah it's not a little faithfulness it's very faithful when you are unfaithful it remains faithful to you therefore hold on to this god if you're already a christian hold on to this god because he will never forsake you nor leave you his mercies they never uh, come to an end and his love never ceases thank you jesus say thank you jesus thank you so if you are there you think god has forsaken you that god does, does not love you god does not have want, want to have mercy on you anymore i'm reminding you right now for you to know that, that know that the steadfast love of god never ceases so god still loves you he loves you dearly and his mercies never come to an end. So God still have mercy on you when you make mistakes. We have mercy on you. When you say you are sorry, we forgive you. His mercies never come to an end. There's never a day we say, I'm not, I'm not going to forgive you anymore. He will always show you mercy. And his, his faithfulness is great. His faithfulness is not a little one. It's a great faithfulness. Always willing to help you. Willing to defend you. Willing to support you. Willing to ensure you are safe. We are not faithful. We remain faithful. But it's a great faithfulness. Great is his faithfulness. Great, great, great. We are not even faithful anymore. He still remains faithful. Always willing to ensure that you are in the right place. That you are living right. That you are, that you are, you are safe. That you have food on your table. Always willing to help hallelujah that's a god that we we have it's not a god that forsakes us so if you think god has forsaken you he has not forsaken you he has he's a very merciful god so come to him today if you're not already if you have not come to him already if you already come to him continue to trust him continue to trust in his mercies in his faithfulness and his love he loves you dearly that's why i came to tell you today that god loves you dearly so don't feel he's no more with you he doesn't love you anymore that his mercy is no more with you he still loves you and he will never stop loving you so god bless you subscribe to my channel stay uplifted see you next time bye if you are out there you're not yet born again you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You've not accepted Him. You still think is a mere story. You still you've been thinking is a joke. You'll be thinking there's no heaven. You'll be thinking there's no God. The Bible says the fool says in his heart that there's no God. You are there thinking all these things. There is God. There is God, and the Lord Jesus Christ actually came to die for you and me and apart from the bible saying that history books also have that written down that the, somebody called jesus christ came to this earth and did a lot of miracles and died and rose again so if you are there not born again say this prayer after me say lord jesus today i accept you into my heart to be my Lord and my Savior. 
from this day onward, I am yours. I will follow you. I will serve you. God in heaven, I thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die for me. He died for me on the third day he rose from the dead. Thank you, God, for this love, this unconditional love. Thank you for loving me. Thank you, Lord. Today, I belong to your son. I will not go back to the world. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. If this prayer was said by you, and with all your heart, you made it, you are now born again. But if you know you said this prayer, you did not mean it, say it all over again. And with all your heart, mean it. Mean it. So you can be born again. And if you have said the prayer already, and you mean it, please start going to a Bible teaching church. Where God's word will be taught you. So you can grow. The Bible says, as, as newborn babes, desire the sincere make of the word of God, that ye may grow thereby. God's word is what the food, is the meek that will make you to grow as a young Christian, even as uh, an old Christian. God's word is a food that will make us to grow. Because we grow every day, we learn every day. So very important, go to the Bible teaching church. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews, that we should not forsake the gathering of the saints together. In the book of Psalms, the Bible says, how ah, beautiful and how ah, pleasant it is for us to dwell together in unity and harmony. That way God commands his blessing and life forevermore. So when Christians come together, God commands his uh, blessing and commands life there. So go look for a Bible teaching church. That means a church where the Bible is being taught. A church where they open the Bible and they teach from it. It also a church where people are filled with the Holy Ghost with the evidence of praying in tongues. Go there and stay there that you may grow. So you have a great life here on earth before Christ comes. God bless you. Subscribe to my channel. Touch the bell so you know when we have a new video. Stay blessed. Share this video. Bye.